Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and this is another video on creating custom Amazon Alexa skills. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through persisting session attributes in DynamoDB. This is a follow-on to an earlier video that I did that walked through creating a simple custom Hello World skill. And I'm gonna pick up with uh, where I left off in that video. So if you didn't see that, I posted a link. You can check that one out. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to update that hello world skill so that it prompts the user for their name and then saves their name in DynamoDB so that it can be used to greet them later on. And if you're not familiar with DynamoDB, it's a NoSQL database service that's provided through Amazon Web Services. And when you're using the Alexa SDK for Node.js like we're doing here, Saving session data to DynamoDB is super simple. It's literally one line of code to set it all up. And um, yeah, it's that, that easy. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, the, uh, the first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to create an intent. Uh, and we're gonna do that in the developer console. We talked about this in the last video, if you're not familiar with this. Uh, and we'll use the, the new um, builder, the skill builder to to do this, uh, it's super easy. We're gonna go and add an intent and we're gonna call this um, the, remember name intent, like that. And the utterance that we'll use to fire that intent is uh, my name is, and we'll say name like that. And um, so when you do that, I've added a, a slot, which you can see down here, or it creates the slot automatically, the builder does. And uh, the slot is what you use to save uh, information that's part of an utterance that's required by the intent. So it's kind of like a variable, well, it is a variable. And like variables, if you're familiar with other programming languages, they usually have types as do slots. And in this case, I'm gonna use the slot type, a built-in slot type called Amazon US first name. And we're just going to use that to keep it simple. If you had a more involved skill, then you probably would be supporting multiple uh, slot types for different regions and languages. Um, but for what we're doing, that's all we're going to do. We are going to require this though, and uh, we'll prompt the user with what is your name if we don't have that. And then we'll expect them to respond with just their name like that. And again, just keeping it real simple, uh, probably for a real skill, it would be a little bit more involved or maybe quite a bit more involved, but this will do it for what we're doing. And now we just need to add um, some code to handle that intent. And uh, I'm gonna copy and paste some code I did earlier. And it's really simple. I'll include all this code uh, so that you can get it on GitHub. But um, the one thing I do wanna point out is this line right here, 25, this is where the session attribute is being saved. And I'm saving the se session attribute as uh, the name, username here and I'm setting the value from the uh, value of the slot that's passed in with the uh, request as, as part of the intent. So pretty straightforward. Again, I'll include that code there. But right now, um, I'm, I've got just about uh, everything that I need. And all I uh, need to do now is just use some very cool functionality that's part of the SDK to save this into a DynamoDB table. And it's literally just this one line here. So um, you just do this DynamoDB table name property. You set that to the table name that you wanna save the data into. And I've created a table called Hello World, uh, a DynamoDB table, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. It'll try to create a table for you if you don't have one there, but the role needs to be set properly for the Lambda function. So if um, it's outside the scope of what we're doing in this video, uh, but you, uh, it, is, it is able to create the table for you, but we're gonna create it manually. Um, so you go in here and give your table a name. And I already have a hello world, so it's yelling at me. But this next part, the partition key needs to be named user and then capital I and lowercase d, just like that, user ID. And the type needs to be a string. So this is a requirement for making the uh, SDK functionality work. And then you would just do create and that's it. It's all set. 
uh, with those two things. So now when the attribute, the session attribute is, is set, or when it's requested, it'll save it to DynamoDB or pull it from DynamoDB. And so uh, I just need some code to wire that up and uh, actually use it. And so uh, I'll add some stuff that I did earlier. And um, yeah, there it is. So now I just changed my uh, what my launch request is doing so that it asks the user for their name. And then I'm um, looking to see uh, in the session, if it's a new session, uh, I check to see if the attribute is set for their name. And if it is not, then I prompt them for it. If it is, I welcome them back and that uh, that's it. So um, that should be all I need to do to make it work. So I can just go and deploy my code. And this script that I'm using is one that I talked about in uh, my last video. I'll include it with the code, but it's uh, an AWS CLI script that uh, just uh, updates my Lambda function for me. And so now that's all done, it should work. And let's test it out. Um, Alexa, open Hello World. Hello and welcome. Please introduce yourself by saying, my name is, and then your name. My name is Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. I'll greet you by name the next time we talk. And that's it. That's everything that you need to do to persist session information into DynamoDB. Hopefully this video was, uh, was helpful or valuable, but if you have any questions, you can certainly post those in the comments. If you did like the video or find it uh, useful, please like it or and or subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much for watching.